everybody, welcome to another episode of Anderson's TV. Today, uh, we're doing a video called Should Every Guitar Player Own a Jazz Master? Yes. Um, and it's kind of inspired by the fact that Fender seem to be issuing uh, a lot of jazz masters over the last two or three years. And I guess to a certain extent, they're probably looking at it and saying, well, you know, everyone's got a Strat and everyone's got a Tele. So, so you know, where do we where do we go from here? So I yeah. think that's that's kind of what we wanted to do. So this is this is kind of as much of a educational for, for us. us. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. Um, everybody goes, you don't do a lot of jazz master videos, which we don't because yeah. and when we do, we get it all wrong. And when we yeah, we do, we get it wrong. <laughs> and I've looked at a lot of jazz master videos. Uh, and it just seems like when people it's, it's a weird one, isn't it? Well, let's start. Because it's like, oh, what does that do and what yeah. does this do? And... So, let's go back to 1958. Uh, Fender are on a roll. They have dominated the kind of, you know, the, the, the emerging rock and roll scene out there with Strats and Telecasters. Um, and Leo and his team decide that they want to release a guitar to go after the jazzers, which who, who historically had been using the big box, you know, sort of jazz guitars. Um, and he wanted to do an affordable jazz or uh, affordable guitar aimed at jazz players. Hence, in 1958, the Jazzmaster came out. Uh, it's quite a departure from, well, is, is it a departure? Some of the things are similar to, to the Strat, so that the, the scale length is the same. Yep. The concept of uh, having a tremolo system, I guess, is, is the same, although it's a different trem system. Um, but he's got a, a new body shape. He's got new pickups. He's got new pickup switching. I said he's got a new, pi uh, a new tremolo system. So we'll, we'll talk about all of that in a second. Yeah. Uh, but we should also say as well that um, I think even you know even on Fender's own uh, history page, it was a bit of a resounding failure as far as attracting jazz players to it on mass. Some did, but it wasn't you know certainly didn't you didn't have this sort of mass exodus from traditional you know jazz guitars. But it became very popular with other players. You know the, yeah. the surf scene. Think of bands like the Ventures, um, and you know. Over history, lots of different players have adopted uh, the Jazz Masters, and I, and I suppose probably in the last 20 or 30 years, it's tended to be players that just don't want to be like seen as the norm, you know, they're perhaps yeah. a little bit. But the first thing I want to do is really remind myself of what does a Strat sound like? Yes. Um, so we've got a just an American professional strat on the on the corner here. Just want to do some real clean strummy things, and then go. So you know, is the Jazzmaster fundamentally a very different sounding guitar? Is it different enough to make me go, ooh? No. Uh, one thing that's definitely different is the pickups, even though they're not though. Well, we'll talk about that. So right here we go. Okay. Neck, so neck pickup on a strat. Bridge pick up. Middle. And your choice of one of the uh, in betweeny positions. Tremolo sounds like. Okay, remember that, people. Let's whiz over to the original series Jazz Master. Okay, so okay. Here, here we go. Uh, so this is the lead circuit, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, neck pickup. Everything on full. Sorry, I shouldn't touch the arm. We'll do that you in a bit. You can do that. It's... Okay. Bridge pickup. Middle. A little bit more of a mid scoop, do you think? The more sound? quacky. More, you're yeah, more quacky. More Maybe quacky. Maybe more reminiscent. More bright. Te telly ish. Brighter. A little bit more telly. Different though, right? We're saying Very it, different. it does sound different. And, and the tremolo. A little bit more Bigsby ish. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, Feel, it, doesn't it, feels like... sound, it doesn't sound different in that way. Because I think most tremolo uh, systems, you can get to sound mm. the same. And mm. it does the same thing. It, it? But isn't it, haven't you got more, you've got to move the arm more to get the same amount of pitch adjustment than on, than on a Strat? Or do you feel, 
So you, you, you would use it differently? You might use it differently, but... Like Let's have a listen to the rhythm yeah. circuit yeah. out of interest. Rhythm circuits are just upwards, everything on full, and it doesn't matter where the pickup switch is. Cool. Now this doesn't do anything, Yeah. but we'll get to that in a minute. Yes. A little bit more. I think if anything, that sounds more like the strap on the on the. Well, maybe not. Well, maybe. So it sounds a little maybe. different, right? Sounds a little yeah. bit different. Um, is it feeling very different to play yet? I don't think it feels different to play. I feel maybe around this area where you put your hand, maybe yeah. there's something going on there. The necks are very, very similar. Maybe this sort of, this kind of, um, maybe there's a little bit of a feel difference yeah. where, with the binding. Because you got the binding, right? But that's, because it's still kind of lacquered. Maybe that feels a bit different. Is it heavier? Because it's a sort of, it feels like Actually, a slightly... It's not, it's not heavier. No? They, these two, it's look, lighter. It's lighter. Because it looks bigger, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, okay. It's lighter. I don't think it's, is it that much bigger? So we're talking about the pickups. Uh, Pete and I had an education from uh, Monty's um, in London recently. Monty's, if you're not familiar, is like a, um, a guitar workshop that make their own pickups. Yeah, um, great pickups. And we look, if you look at a traditional single coil pickup that might be in a Strat or a Telecaster, it has the magnetic pole pieces going through it and the, the copper wound. And it's typically, I suppose, in terms of height, it's just over a centimeter, maybe, would you say? What's that in inches? Just a, like a half an inch kind of um, it Makes height. all the difference. A jazz master is a little bit confusing because you've got these enormous plastic kind of covers for them. And yet that's, I suspect, entirely aesthetic. Because if you look at the pickup, what it actually is, is it's the same kind of idea of those um, magnetized pole pieces. Mm -hmm with the copper wound it, but much, much shallower. So maybe like three to four millimeters, probably really, half, really right? half, half as high as a pickup that would go in a, a Strat or a, a Telecaster. But the plates around it are really wide like this. There's no plate around it, is yeah, there? The, you mean the plastic, yeah, the the plastic, plastic bit? The, yeah, the plastic I, bit, you know, where that, it is like that, and then it's like this, but you still wind it in the middle. Yeah, it's, so it's... I don't know if that makes a difference in the tone. Probably I not. I can't imagine it would. So. And what happens by making a pickup either taller or, or shorter, um, and we got, as I said, we've got a really good pickup education from Monty's, is it just changes the, the magnetic field and therefore the tone of, of, the, of the guitar. Yeah. Not, there's not necessarily like, you know, bigger is better, smaller, or, or any, hard to sort of go, if you do a certain thing, a yeah. certain sound happens, just if you change stuff, sounds change yeah um so that's what we've got there in terms of its pickup placement um i don't know i mean you've got one the brick well, the, 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 the neck pickup is pretty much in the same place I in relation little, to the no i'll say it's back a bit yeah from the neck it's the back the, mm. it's the twice the the length the, from the bridge the pickup bridge. is maybe a tiny bit closer to the actual bridge on the on the guitar but look well if you look magnets and that's of course on a on a on a bit of a yeah so there's the yeah that's true angle. you haven't got the slant on the uh, you haven't got the slant on the back pickup and so. also all the pole pieces on this are the same staggered so they are not they're not like they're staggered but where, they're not well that's not really a strap thing is it that's just different pickups over the years have had staggered changed, pole yeah. pieces and anyway anyway um i guess the idea again of not having the bridge pickup on a on a slant means that the base end might be a bit brighter on this one the the point of the strap Shifting yeah. the slant was that the, the base end of the bridge pickup would be a little nearer the middle of the guitar and therefore a bit warmer. Anyway. And I can imagine all of this stuff here makes a difference in the brightness. I, got that all was of the other thing I wanted to do actually. Can you just strum without it being plugged in? Because yeah. I always get the sense that a ja there, is a, there is a more jangly sound to a jazz master, which I think comes ringing. from the, the bridge and the, and the trem. Yeah. Yeah, there's some overtones like a, and ringing, aren't you they? Hear the, you hear that spring, or those springs, more. You definitely can. I don't know, I have to get my lapel super close. And do it on the strap. <laughs> it's there a is different, still a ring. Yeah, there's, there's a, a ring different ring from, from these, but it's a it's lower... Just a, it's, it's acoustically a, different sounding. Uh, 
Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, so, now we've, now we've kind of... It's a lot of overtones, aren't there? But if you do play the F, oh, I see. it rings with the pit. Listen to this. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, come on. <laughs> so I think we've established that that um, it's a different sounding instrument and therefore, you know, potentially justifies its place in a, in a guitar player's armory. Mm -hmm. um, there's a cool page on the Andertons website, which is dedicated to jazz masters. So right from Squire through to um, the top end Fender stuff. Yeah. Um, and I think what, what we've done here is we've chosen four jazz masters and we kind of wanted to talk through the different vibe of the flavors, if you like, of jazz master, because Fender do everything from um, stuff where this isn't, you know, something like this where you can have, you could have two humbuckers on here, you could have a hard tail and a much simpler switching system. This one has got a Strat style trim system again, but with correct sort of jazz master pickups on it again with a simple switching system yeah you've got ultra which has got like the craziest <laughs> most flexible switching system yeah. ever you've got original you've got classic vibe versions of the original so super this is affordable great man 349 quid yeah so Bosh. absolutely have a look on the um Anderson's Jazz Master page. I think the most affordable Squire Jazz Master is just under two hundred pounds. Okay, really. And then, of course, there's probably no limit once you go into custom shop. But typically, what we've got here with Ultra and Original will stop around about the sort of fifteen to seventeen hundred yeah. pound. We haven't done any custom shop. Uh, no, maybe yeah. we will. Uh, anyway, so let's let's just have a bit more playing. <laughs> Let's do the pickup switching on this. So this is the American Original Series, which is the closest thing that we'll have in store to how one would have been in 1958. Uh, so the concept that Fender had was this idea of a rhythm and lead circuit. Lead circuit is the, the black switch downwards here. Mm -hmm. In the lead circuit, the pickup selector works as you'd expect it to, and the volume and tone control work as you'd expect it to. The rhythm circuit up here is only the uh, neck pickup, so none of this works anymore. And then you have a different volume and tone control here, which, because they're different values to this uh, volume and tone, give a different tone, a slightly darker tone. Um, so let's do the four, or like the six different settings, if you like, okay. that you might have through there. So let's start just uh, start up here. Okay. So. And that's basically it. <laughs> yeah, you can you turn can the volume do, down. Yeah. That's pretty jazzy. That's pretty jazzy. That's pretty jazzy. Yeah. When you turn, hang on, like a ninja, ninja, you ninja jazz master. So if you turn it. Back. Okay. I mean, that's the, that was just a tone down. But I really, I used to have a jazz mask. I sold it. Did you? Uh, because I never played it. Um, but I should have kept it and done something to it, right? Because it's really good. So, we're over to the lead uh, switch. That's it. And now mm -hmm. we've got, again, so neck pickup again. So, so that's much more. Yeah, uh, the middle position, uh, you can turn the top. Yeah, 
in the middle position. It's really inspiring it's sound, great. isn't it? Bridge? Take it to the bridge! Don't call me that. Tone down. I do love that, having a little bit of the, the aqua puss. Yeah. We give you a, we give you a little picture of uh, Pete's little throw together pedal board. Um, I'm just trying some stuff out, man, you know. Don't you've, try got, to... you've got some John Mayer thing going on there. I don't know don't, what, I don't know come what. Come on, just confess. Anyway, right, come on, let's get back to the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> um, you'll notice again, we've got a top mounted jack socket here. This is an interesting one. Of course, you'll absolutely see if you use a normal um, straight socket here, you have a potentially a bit of an issue with the tremolo arm, but of course you could use a right angle jack here. One volume, one tone. So departure from what would be on a Strat. Um, the bridge is interesting now. So the, the bridge would have been, I'm guessing where they're going with this is almost trying to get one of those kind of I don't know, like more reminiscent of the kind of floating bridge you might get on an arch top or something. You've still got the six saddles that you can adjust mm -hmm. uh, both height and intonation on. Uh, but what happens if you take the strings off, this whole piece just comes out. It's not screwed in. It's, it's just held in by being, you know, essentially the strings hold it in. Mm -hmm. And then the tremolo system, which is, I mean, I, I, half of me kind of thinks, if anything, it's almost more basic than the trem system on... Um, on a Strat, it reminds me more of those sort of Gibson Maestro kind of things where it just feels like a bit of metal kind of bending. Um, but there is this interesting concept of a, of a lock on the trem system. So with the lock off, the yeah. trem system can be cool. used to increase or decrease, yeah. yeah, increase or decrease the pitch of the strings. With it on, it can now only decrease the pitch. Yeah. You can, you can hear it sort of hits the... And the only real practical use for that, I'm guessing, is that if you break a string midway through the gig, with the lock on, you can't get that situation where the trem kind of goes backwards slightly and puts all your other strings the whole out of guitar tune. Yeah, you'll... There's, a, there's another reason for this to be sitting like it does in here, I think, because when you move the trem arm, if you move the trem arm... If you can see the whole thing is moving, I don't it know does, if you can see it? that. The bridge moves backwards it, and forwards, it, doesn't it? it? It goes like that. So, and I think instead of the string sliding over the metal, I think that is a more, it's a softer way of, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know Duesenberg was talking about when they developed it, the whole thing does that. This whole bridge goes back and forth to help mm. the the whole thing be more smooth, if you will. Well, um, so I. So that's your American Original These Series. Um, These annoy me. Yeah, we'll talk about how that got changed. Um, what Pete's doing there is that the, the saddles on, on the Jazzmaster have just got about, what, 10 grooves in them, maybe eight grooves, something like that. And absolutely, if you hit the strings reasonably hard as you're strumming, or perhaps bend very, very hard, it's not that difficult for a string to just pop These, from one groove to another. Not so bad with the three the strings down here, these are worse. You yeah. see that if I'm doing, no, you put just it, did it, I'll put you? it back. So if I do that, yeah. or here, not so mm. bad with the thinner strings, but. 
So maybe so, you should use eights on this. <laughs> so that's the Best Jazz Master in eights. O, uh, on screen now, the American original Jazz Master. Lots of different colors, beautiful case. It's very much a sort of top of the range a thing from Fender. Nitro cellulose finish, um, all good. Before we go on to the, the Ultra and the Performer, I think what we should do is jump down to classic vibe now okay. because it's basically the closest one to uh, the American original series. So if you look on this, what are the differences that immediately jump out? Uh, you've got no binding on the fretboard. No board. Yeah. Um, you've got the, tre the, the sort of improved bridge that Which came off the, the Mustang. Yeah. Yeah. And you've got a trem system that doesn't have the lock. Yeah. So it's so, you, um, so yeah, you just can't lock it. Yeah. Other than that, it's basic. Other than the fact that componently, it's obviously all um, this is made in Indonesia, I think, and so a lot of the components will be sourced in the Far East. But other than that, it's it's a pretty faithful yeah. uh, version of a jazz master. Look at the let's, look at the neck on this. Let's get some play. Yes, let's, let's get, get some, some playing, playing man. this man I tell you what I, I mean that yeah you can you can tell that this is a little bit more it's a little bit clunky more cheaper but you would expect that for less money mm. do you know what I mean but the switch Put it on. Put it on its rhythm I'll probably, setting and, you know and what? play probably, jazz. Probably can. All right, jazz master. Okay. D so um, you know what? This is really good. Well, I, I, maybe if if it was me, because I think there's nines on here, mm -hmm. which makes a, certainly a difference both in the tone and the feel. So I would probably have put the strings down a slight bit and put a tens on here, maybe. Right. Why not? Uh, but I, I mean, it's this, this, we said at the beginning, didn't we? It's the now. same scale length as a strat. So if you're, you know, if you're happier with tens on your strat, chances are that's it. what you're wanting. <laughs> 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 Okay, let's do a super zoomed in <laughs> close up of the bridge on this because this is somewhere where actually I think most people would agree that the bridge on the classic vibe is actually better. <laughs> He's so pleased with himself with his, if you're happy with your tens, clap your hands. If you're happy with your tens, clap your hands. Oh my God. If you're happy with your tens <laughs> and you like the way they bend. If you're happy with your tens, clap your hands. Anyway, so come oh, on, super yeah. close up if we can, Sorry. please, Tay Tay. Um, so what happened on the uh, one of the improvements on the bridge systems on a, uh, on these kinds of guitars over the years was they removed the ideas of lots and lots of slots on the saddles and just replaced it with one much deeper slot, uh, and therefore it is unlikely now that the string will pop out the slot, which I, I, is yeah. funky. It's very funky when the string doesn't sli slide out. I was the, the, uh, I think people just figured out that the that the Mustang Brits fitted oh, onto yeah. the thing. It wasn't it wasn't like Fender you, went, oh, this is better. People just went, this is on, and this is better, you know. So but, but, on Fender and Squire Jazz Masters, the holes that this is um, slots into are drilled exactly the same spacing. Whether you do Fender Squire or whatever the model is. And you can buy this Mustang replacement bridge for about 30 quid, 30 or 40 quid. Um, and then you just, that's it. You take yeah. the old one out, put the new one in. Back Boosh, in. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. So the classic vibe has got lots of different colors as well on the Jazzmaster, including some stunning limited run. They call them FSRs, don't they? Sort of this limited run FSR. colors. This one is. There's some with gold uh, anodized scratch plates that look wonderful. Anyway. And uh, uh, hopefully uh, things below. But of course, head on over to our Jazz Master page and as all the colors update, you'll pink see. Pink version of this. Pink version of that. Oh, oh man. Shell pink soon. with a tortoiseshell guard. Oh man. 350 um, quid. 350 quid. I might have to right. sneak in on one of those. Uh, just to, 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 if anybody's wondering uh, why this little bit, it's plastic on here. 
Well, it's a there's a plastic sort of, coating on there not, that you just not, need to peel um, off. Yeah. Absolutely. They're like there are on all the scratch plates. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to do a little quick fast forward and not really go into any depth on these, but head on over to the website because as you go up past um, Squire, you've got contemporary versions of this. So stuff where again, you perhaps have a hard tail and some humbuckers on it. You go into Fender Player Series, which is their Mexican stuff. You've got Vintera, Vintera which do yeah. all the more yeah. um, vintage correct stuff. You've got Performer, I mean, you've so many. got American Professional, um, and they'll all have their own vibe and flavor and different build quality, depending on where they're made and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So check those out in the links below. Um, but I guess, one of the things we should plug in before we get to the ultra, Mr. Pete, yes, darling. is what does happen, you know, who might want something, which is a bit of a hybrid, really, of a, of a Strat style trem system, proper Jazzmaster pickups, but you've got rid of this idea of the lead and rhythm setting. So it's just, it's permanently on its lead setting. I like this. I loved, I didn't realize Satin. until I picked this off the wall, this is a matte finish. They Satin look great, blue. don't they? Satin finish. It's literally, by the time you're onto this, it's just a Strat neck, isn't it? This is a Strat neck. It feels exactly like a Strat neck. Mm. I mean, even the headstock doesn't really look any different. I mean, it's a teeny, is it a teeny weeny bit different or is it just the same? It's, it's bigger. It's like a teeny bit bigger, isn't it? But it's very much the same outline. Slightly bigger. It's not mm. the 70s headstock though, is it? No, It's no. just a slightly big different. Ah, ah. Yeah, the, the, this bit here is a bit longer. Give us a little okay. quick noodle on this because I want to get onto the ultra because that's complicated. <laughs> so just a real yeah. quick noodle on this. Yes. I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely convinced that now sounds like a strat to me. Well, there's one way to find out. A little bit louder. A little the bit louder now. Of it is, Tonality's there. I mean, is, these strings are yeah, just on the way out. Yeah. But so now it's still got a quack. A little bit. It's got that quack. It, uh, th that's what how I, I think the ra jazz master. I think the rattliness of the jazz masters. Sort of. Well, rattliness is the wrong word, but that kind of. It but is. this is all of this stuff. Yeah. It, I think it yeah. does change but the sound you don't a, get, a lot more. You don't have that. anyway. All of that stuff you don't get. Middle position. I'm not a fan. I mean, the other thing I was... Can I say that? Yeah, so basically what you're saying is it becomes like neither one or the other, right? It's not a jazz master, it's not a Strat, and it ends up being somewhere in between and it's not your vibe. It's not really my vibe. I don't think... I've, I think if you're going for... I can I can understand the concept of it, mm. but I don't think for me, if I want a jazz master, I want the jazz master stuff. I want, Hon I want, honestly, I'm completely I, the opposite. I'm loving... I, just, I think that's perfect, because it's, it's just... It's a sort of a more, for me, it's a, I prefer that kind of you drum system. You prefer that drum system. I'm not, I probably wouldn't go for the whole like, you know, rhythm lead fiddly thing. I just Why loving. Why not put a Telecaster thing on here? Could do. I mean, they. You can put a Telecaster bridge with the Telecaster pickup in it. Could do. I, I, I love I'm just the saying shape. that the, the other the thing. the shape of it. On the Performer series, and this is the, the Performer Jazzmaster, uh, they have their own series of pickups, the Yosemite pickups. So I. I Except that the, the magnets and the wire in that are, although the, the way it's wired is a traditional jazz yeah. speaker, different magnets, different wires, all going to make different sounds. So and these are not P90s. No, absolutely not. Because that was another thing that some people were going. Oh, you got to see this Monty's it's a video. P90, yeah, the video. There's like a two minute clip in the Monty's thing where I where where Matt literally goes, I'll just show you what like what what makes a single coil, what makes a humbucker, what makes a P90, and a Telecaster bit and it's yeah. much taller. Anyway, with a bass player anyway, on anyway. it. Give me that back. Come on. Otherwise, we're going to be this. This one is going to take a little while. Yeah. So here's the ultra. I love this. This is this is if if you would upgrade, this is what I would do with it. One thing that I wish they'd done on this mm. 
it's recessed that into the oh, body. Oh, right. Like I saw that um, um, Gray has done, Thomas Gray, done on his guitar. Has he recessed the... All right. He, so he resets that into the body because I think if that was in recessed down... Fender. And it, especially when you're doing stuff like this, nice uh, yeah. access to up here and it feels beautiful, little contours everywhere. You could have recessed yeah. that. So Ultra, um, Ultra has been the most uh, well-received and popular range of kind yeah. of American uh, guitars from them in as long as I can remember. Yeah. So the Ultra Jazz Master, as Pete was saying, let, let's go with, so first and foremost, we've got a very different kind of neck vibe to everything else. So we've now got compound radius fretboards, sort of a, a D-shape profile on the back, yeah. locking tuners satin finish you know all the kind of uh the i suppose the contemporary uh features you'd expect the body is more contoured so on the back mm -hmm. um so you can see around the heel joint all these cutouts wouldn't be on a normal ultra uh, normal jazz master sorry and then the switching yeah that's what is it... is going to confuse anyone that has had a jazz master before because quite a lot of the switches don't do what you think they will, or they do more. Thank you, Pete, for that nice little that's, bit of playing there. That's all right. Uh, everybody, I am now going to attempt to tell you uh, what the switching does in here. Now, please pay attention because it's complicated and it's not the same as a normal jazz master. So, the first thing to do is go over the actual controls here. So, whilst everything looks similar to a normal jazz master, uh, the, swi the switches and the knobs aren't doing normal jazz master things. Firstly, up here, the idea of the rhythm and the lead setting is a little bit different. The two controls here are both volume controls, okay? So a volume for the neck pickup and a volume for the bridge pickup. Uh, down here where we've got three controls instead of two, we've got more like the <coughs> Fender Strat kind of vibe where we've got a master volume and we've got two tones, a tone for this pickup and a tone for this pickup. Now the other thing as well, the, the concept on a, on a um, traditional jazz master of this being a rhythm and a lead switch doesn't really work like that. In its upward position, every control on here is still is working so you still get to choose which yep. um pickup you want to be on these two volume controls work and all these volume and tone controls work yep and it's <laughs> yeah exactly in its downwards position these just cease to work all right you just yep. you're just using down here however we then have s1 if i switch this in um, the control becomes a phase switch, so an, a phase in and out switch. And also in this position, in the middle position, it begins to adjust whether or not you're hearing the guitar in series or in parallel. Holy mother of moly. It's Holy only taken me about 56 takes to get that in one go. Yeah, Pete, and it's completely wrong. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they are noiseless Jazzmaster pickups, which again are different to the pickups that are on these. Uh, it has the trim system with the lock on it, like the original Jazzmaster does. But hey, Pete, just press all the buttons, but you can hear. see what happens, yeah. and take it away, maestro. <laughs> I think it's the complete antithesis oh. of this, isn't it? This is like, yeah. if you like the Jazzmaster vibe, but it, you literally just want you can't a, a completely sort of stable trim system and just a straightforward, almost like a Gibson style or, you know, a Teddy yeah. style, boom, there we go. Yeah. That's that. And then this takes the original Jazzmaster concept to like a whole nother 
switching yeah, level. Because so. it sounds great and it plays really nice. But it's a little confusing, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's odd as well because one of the things they did with the S1 switching between the previous Elite series and the Ultra series yeah. on the Strats and the Tellies was they simplified S1 because it was almost like before it was, too like, much. it was too confusing. So now I think S1 is just a, like a coil split or something. You know, it's like it doesn't really it doesn't engage like a whole gamut of new tones. This is like this has gone completely the other way, hasn't yeah. it? Just like oh, let's have a zillion. Um, I, difficult, isn't it? This one, it's like this 100% you're going to you'll know yourself as a player you know if you if you like um massive pedal boards and you know oh. having tons of different switching at your fingertips and stuff like that yeah. i can imagine the ultra jazz master is going to be your bag completely but if you're you know if you like your old telecaster and you rarely switch between the bridge and the <laughs> rhythm pickup yeah. then maybe not oh i'm not sure i'm not so sure it looks great as well. The colours, the colours, colours on screen now are fabulous. You can definitely tell they're noiseless. gain sound but with a big clean tone on it maybe you know like it just Little bit too much for do you, me. Do you, think, you think something like that you'd need to own it and find all the good tones? It's not really a, a two minute demo guitar? Uh, well, it's not really a two minute demo guitar. It's a, it's, it's a beautiful guitar. I think it looks wicked. It looks great. I, I like love, the noise. I love the. the um, I mean, everything I love is the on here now. Decal on the headstock. It's probably my favourite decal of, of, of all of them. Yeah, you like a bit of gold. <laughs> Well, there you go. It's quite so, cool, actually. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. you found this an informative and educational video. Super what I would play. like you to do now in the comments section is post a very simple: Have you now decided that you'd like a jazz master, or are you still? It's not for you at all. And if you do like one, why don't you also put in from um, dive on over to the Andersons Jazz Master page and say which one you like the best? Yes, absolutely. And maybe I mean, if we get lots and lots of you know people liking one of the ones we haven't reviewed today, we'll do a follow up video of that. I, I think um, I think me for me yes, I'll say yes. On this occasion, I say yes that it's different. It's different enough for me to actually have one, and I regret I sell, sold mine actually a little bit. Which which one do you think I had for a, you? I had a Japanese uh, uh, matching headstock in blue leg plastic. So which blue. of these, I mean in fairness, maybe we can take the Squire out of it because it's 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 kind of just a, a more affordable version of this one, but if you had to go totally traditional, 
totally kind of not traditional or a very modern take on it which one i'll probably go you? for this one actually you go that one, even though you? it's a bit confusing i yeah. kind of like that it's that it's got a little bit yeah extra different t things to it and the colors are great well and uh, let's color. be honest with you that's 99 percent of it isn't it uh, yeah <laughs> anyway and hey everybody plays with everything on full anyway so right uh, anyway okay i'm in the captain oh thanks pete and we shall see you in another video soon bye bye